Here's every weird crime and punishment from medieval Japan. 1. Stealing Flogging was the most common means of punishing theft, where you'd receive a number of lashes split evenly between the back and buttocks, though samurai were exempt from being flogged at all, which you'll notice is a bit of a theme. 2. Murder If you were found guilty of murder, the punishment was execution, but not before being paraded around town. The execution method also varied. Hanging, crucifixion, burning, boiling and sawing in half were all common practices, just not if you were a samurai. 3. Adultery If you were found guilty of adultery, the original crime was to have half your territory seized. If you did not own any territory, you were simply exiled to somewhere far away. In later periods, you were considered a fateful enemy of the husband you had wronged and could legally be killed by him, but only if he was a samurai. 4. Dishonor As for samurai who were found guilty of any serious crime, the expectation was to commit seppuku. The samurai would kneel down, disembowel himself with a cut across the abdomen before an assistant would decapitate or sever the spinal column to finish the job. Seppuku was reserved only for the samurai cast and could only be done with permission, otherwise you were just gutting yourself for no reason.